Hey kids! So it's Tool Tuesday and um, there's a lot of things that count as tools and this is just this is another one and it's springtime so um, I'm actually going to be using this. Uh, it's a multi-use sprayer. They're really handy for uh, certain things but you can, you can put different things inside it. I'm just going to use it for water because I'm actually um, planting some grass in my yard and I started a few weeks ago. Um, yeah, and so in an upcoming video, hopefully this week, um, I'm going to actually have, show you how I uh, plant grass in spots around your yard, um, and it's worked really well. Um, and I have a, a landscaper for a neighbor, and he, he um, showed me the trick that has worked really well for me. Um, and these are real good good because it puts out a nice fine mist, and so it doesn't disturb the grass too much. So, But before we get into it, uh, I have a dad joke for you. So what do you call a bear without any teeth? A gummy bear ah so anyway let's get started okay so all we want to do is we just want to add some water in here first so you just pull that thing out okay and we're just gonna put some water in And then all you do is you just take this, this plunger here, and you just put it right down inside, and then you, you turn it. Okay, just make sure it's tight. You want a good seal, because if you don't have a good seal, then it won't fill up, fill up with pressure. And then you just put it back here, right, so it's kind of tightening, and then you just lift up on here, and you just pressurize it. There's actually a pressure release valve right here, so we make sure that that's closed. It'll be obvious if it's not closed because you won't, <laughs> won't build up any pressure. So you just pump it. And then you just, once you get it where you want it, you just lock it back in, okay? And then now this will just put out a nice fine mist of water, okay? And then you can adjust it with the uh, with the nozzle okay just like a hose but it works works really well see it puts a nice fine mist out there all right so here's a close-up of this um, you can see on the top here it has a there's a slot right here where the handle fits down and then you lock it like that okay so we're gonna pump it full of air Actually, this thing, I think this thing is uh, turned right now. So we just got to, you just got to turn it once. Okay, now it'll start. Yeah, I can feel the air pressure starting to build up. Okay, and then we just lock it into the handle like that. And then what that's for is, I'm just going to go ahead and show you that. It releases, so like, you're, say you're done and you still got some pressure built up in here. You just, all you do is just do that and then the pressure's gone so now I got to pump it up again but that's what that's for so you're not having to just let this thing loose to let all the air out right you just do that so now on the way this model is you just turn it one you know, once to the right once to the right every time you do it it opens it or closes it okay so now it's closed again Okay, and then lock the handle, and then now we can just go ahead and spray it. Oh, and it's actually got a, uh, if you slide this handle forward, you, you close it, and then slide the handle forward, it actually just holds it. See, so I don't even need to, I don't even need to hold that button down. And so the nice thing about it is it puts a nice mist on this. Puts a nice mist without really disturbing things. And then that peat moss will hold that water. And you want to do this at night. I'll get you another view here in just a second. Okay, there you go. That's a little better. Okay. And you go ahead and slide that handle so I'm not even holding it. And then, and then you just get it nice and moist. Okay. And I, I would, like I said, I recommend doing this at night. And then 
it'll hold it all the way through the night and then tomorrow too so that those those grass seeds can germinate. You just coat it good, right? Because if we had a thicker mist there, it would disturb that peat moss because the peat moss is on there really light. It's just a light coating on top of the seeds. You can even see some of the seeds even peeking out there. Okay. Okay, so uh, that kind of does it for this area. Hopefully you don't have this big of an area <laughs> to, uh, to fill in in your yard. But um, this area, our, we have a big tree right here that blocks this so it didn't get a whole lot of sunlight. Plus we have our dogs, you know, so I'm fighting this pretty much every year because anytime it gets a little bit muddy, then they're running back and forth. And, um, you know, I still want to fight it though because it looks nice when it's full of grass. But uh, yeah, I mean, most spots in your yard, you're going to fight, you know, you're going to have a, I don't know, uh, one by one or whatever, so it's not going to be as big as this, but uh, anyway, that, uh, hopefully that'll help you grow some grass. So, All right, so I'll show you how to grow the grass in my next video. Thanks for watching this Tool Tuesday, and God bless you.